What is good guys? It is your boy Corey and today we're gonna unbox my new camera. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and open this thing up guys. Man, I've honestly been waiting for this camera for like a week or two and I'm super excited to kind of show you guys what it is. Oh my gosh guys, this thing is just so beautiful. Check this out guys, my new camera. It's so dope. Nah, I'm just playing with you guys. I actually just found this at Ross and uh, I couldn't hold myself back. I did not hesitate whatsoever. I thought this was so dope. Never seen anything like this. It's all made out of like chrome glass. So as a photographer lover and you know, a videographer, I had to definitely pick this up. Uh, so sorry for the little clickbait or fooling you guys. But anyways, let's go ahead and actually get into this unboxing. But no, literally I've actually waited a couple weeks for this um, because I was kind of, I ordered a whole bunch of things for this setup uh, so I was kind of waiting to get everything before I actually film this um, but yeah let's go ahead and open this up I'm super excited to see it and um, also one thing before you actually see this uh, you guys are probably gonna wonder why I actually bought this camera and don't worry I'm gonna actually get into that so don't don't be commenting and calling me out why I bought this camera guys okay guys it is right here so I'm really excited to show you guys this because this is actually a camera I owned when it around the first time it came out this is actually the next version up uh, but they're pretty close enough anyways and ah, okay guys man I actually totally messed up this is not the one this I'm gonna show you guys this later okay let's go ahead and open up I guess it was the bigger box my bad my bad okay yeah let's go ahead and open this up now don't worry, we'll get back to that. All right, here it is, finally, in the bigger packaging. Uh, and along with the accessories, obviously. Super dope. Right there, right there. Um, okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, like I said, I actually own the second version of this camera. Um, it is a Canon. And I honestly didn't think about switching back to DSLR. And like I said, I'll get into the reason why I bought this camera, don't worry. And wow, haven't had a DSLR sitting in my hand for a long time, guys. And it is literally in perfect condition, just like they said on the website. Uh, this was actually, I bought this actually used. Um, and I'll get into their website and everything so you guys can kind of check them out. Uh, I'm not going to be, I'm not being paid to say anything about their website. I just kind of want to give you guys a chance to check them out uh, because they got hella deals out there. Uh, ranging from lenses, cameras, and stuff like that. Uh, but anyways, this is actually the Canon T3i. I don't know if you can see that. Autofocus on this FS5 is not that great, guys. But yeah, this is the Canon T3i. Um, I actually owned the T2i before, um, and it was a beast of a camera. It was probably one of the first mirror or first DSLR out there that actually provided full HD. And um, I don't know why I actually got rid of it. Um, I mean, obvious reason was to upgrade because after the Canon T2i, I ended up getting the Canon 6D. And then I moved around after the 60, got into mirrorless and got a GH4. And now I'm at the Sony a6300. Guys, I've never looked back after getting into mirrorless. Uh, never thought about getting back into a DSLR or anything like that. Um, okay, but reason being why I got this is I wanted like a B camera. Uh, morally for video so when I'm doing like behind the scenes type of stuff and you guys are probably wondering why di I didn't just get something like an a6000 or something like that um, this was actually a gift from my fiance uh, thanks babe for this camera love it uh, so I kind of just told her give me something cheap and uh, she asked me what I wanted so I ended up just looking around for cheap cameras seeing what they had and mind blown I actually found this for super cheap t3i uh, I believe it was like 250 250 and this is practically brand new i wish i can show you guys a little bit better but there's like no scratches and the nice thing like i said about 
uh, dot com. Uh, this is the website I got it from, or k.com, not sure what it, which one it is. Uh, but they actually have a rating system, and uh, pretty much it rates the camera and all the uh, equipment that they sell from good to bad or to worse, whatever, uh, or for parts. And um, I ended up getting this with like their best quality or ex in excellent condition. And I gotta say, they're right, totally right. It looks perfect. Um, but yeah, I mean, back to the reason why I bought this. Like I said, I didn't have to buy a DSLR. I could have got a mirrorless, but I was looking for more of a budget just because, you know, I, I obviously was on a little bit of a budget uh, for camera gear. And um, we're gonna, I'm gonna test this out and kind of see how it's gonna work for like vlogging. I highly doubt I'm actually gonna make this my, uh, my vlogging camera because I love my a6300 for vlogging and such uh, but this will more likely be like I said is behind the scenes mounted on a tripod when I'm shooting uh, and such like that um, but another thing I definitely want to try too is photography with it because when I had the T2i I was actually never into photography the T2i was actually a beast for videos and it, it was one of the reasons I bought it the person that actually got me wanting to buy the T2i was Jacob Owens if you don't know Jacob Owens he's like a really popular filmmaker and um, music video director here on YouTube he's He's a beast with the camera, uh, but he actually began shooting music videos with his T2i and when I first saw him, I was mind blown uh, because I actually, when I was starting to get into videos and filmmaking, I was actually using a Pentax KX um, and it only had 720p. So when I found out about the Canon T2i and it had 1080p, 24 frames a second, I had to get it. And at that time, it was, you know, your typical uh, DSLR price. It was like 800 bucks. So I ended up spending 800 on the Canon T2i. And we're here about eight years later. And, you know, T3i came out at the same time, 2011. And eight years later, 200 bucks, guys. And I'm excited to put this to use because 2011, I had just really gotten into filmmaking and such and uh, didn't know too much and now I'm here and you know I have a great amount of knowledge and uh, almost done with film school uh, especially photography I'm definitely gonna be trying this out for photography uh, so I'm kind of excited to see what I can come up with on this um, also I most likely will do a video uh, recommending why you guys should go back to something old like this buying uh, I've seen a couple videos like buying uh, 5D, the very first 5D in 2018, and all these other cameras, is it still worth it to buy it in 2018 or 19? Uh, so I may do a video like that, um, and why you guys should actually probably invest into something cheap and why it might be worth it, especially for those that are on a budget. So of course, you know, I, I ended up getting the accessories to the charger and the battery, um, but let's go ahead and get into that other, other thing I ended up buying along with it. And obviously you got to have a lens. I do have a lens, you know, EF mount. That's an EF mount right there. And I do have a lens for it, but I wanted a specific lens that I'm going to be using for vlogging. Um, and the, the Sigma 18 to 35 is definitely not ideal for vlogging. Um, and uh, the autofocus is just terrible on it. Um, I'm using my MC, uh, MC11 adapter, which is by Sigma, and it's still super loud and it's still super slow. So I just felt like I needed to buy a lens that I would be that would be dedicated to the T3i for vlogging and behind the scenes. Um, but I will definitely be using the Sigma 18 and 35 Art uh, paired with the T3i for photography. So I definitely want to try that out. Most likely won't be using this one for photography at all. But I also did pay a little bit extra because, like they said. This was one of those lenses where it's a good price, or I mean a good condition or not. Um, so this was like their best condition. And yeah, I mean, it, it's not too bad, honestly. The glass, the glass looks pretty clean. No smudges or anything like that. The only downfall is it didn't come with the back lens or uh, the front cover for it. And uh, that's totally fine, I'm not, I can always buy that anyways. But anyways, this is the Sigma 17 to 50 2.8. Um, I was doing some research on this and seeing the reason why I should get into this. And uh, for video quality, it actually looked really good. Uh, I didn't really look too much into photos for this. 
um, more lead, like I said, this is gonna be used for video. And this also has uh, optical stabilization in it. So I think it's gonna be pretty good for vlogging. Um, I did just order me, uh, myself a UV filter and ND filter for this. So, you know, the UV will protect it. And when I'm filming outside in uh, bright spots, put that ND filter on there. Um, I may need to order myself a back cover for it. Don't have one of those right now. I may, and I actually may have a extra, but not too sure. But that's fine, yeah. So Sigma, you guys know I love Sigma and I definitely recommend Sigma. If you guys have actually not seen my video on the Sigma 18 to 35 art, why I recommend it to you guys, I'll put the link in the description below. Check that out. Uh, but yeah, Sigmas are beasts. Okay, on to the next packages, guys. So this right here, yeah. So this is one I actually just over ordered over the weekend. Obviously, you need a memory card uh, for your camera. This is SanDisk Extreme Pro, uh, 95 megabits per second. Uh, so super fast for write, for read and write. Um, and this is this is actually used for 4K. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Um, this is used for 4K. Love these. Actually use this for my Sony FS5, my cinema camera. And it's perfect memory card for that. Um, let's go ahead and get into the next items. Got like two more. And okay, so for these, I actually ended up having to open these at Amazon because the items were a little bit mixed up. So I had to make sure I actually got the right item. So let's just pretend I'm opening this right now. Uh, so this one right here is a camera strap. Obviously need a camera strap. Um, haven't actually taken a look at this yet. So we're unboxing this together, guys. Okay, so this camera strap is so the name of this camera strap is inspire in time i guess um also has oh this is nice okay so right here is a lens cover holder right there and here is the strap itself um i bought this strap mainly for the reason of the looks uh, i really like fancy looking camera straps and this is really nice. It has some like leather accents on it. It's a navy blue. They also had, I believe, a white, uh, but I wasn't feeling that at all. Um, but right here, this little lens cap, uh, front lens cap, eh, sorry, front lens cap holder uh, mounts onto this and it just sits there. So when you actually have this over your shoulder, uh, you can put your lens cap in there uh, so you don't forget it. And um, I actually have issues with uh, losing my lens cap. So this thing is actually helpful. So I definitely will be utilizing that. So camera strap, check. And on to the last thing, the very last thing. This is definitely needed as well. Uh, so Power Extra, if you guys don't know Power Extra, they're battery makers. And uh, obviously we need batteries for our camera. So I ended up ordering uh, this bundle. Comes with four Canon batteries, uh, generic batteries obviously, and a nice little cheap charger. Um, didn't really need to anything like too expensive, just a simple charger would do it. And uh, I even got the, the original Canon charger that comes with it. So. I can use this as a secondary anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, unboxing this camera with me. I'm super excited to make a video about it um, and see what I can actually come out with uh, image quality wise when it comes to uh, photos and videos. Um, definitely, like I said, I'm gonna be making a video whether you should still buy this in 2018. And my guess is already yes, uh, you should because if you guys haven't seen my video shooting neon portraits with my phone, uh, obviously the phone has does have two new technology in it and it's, but it's a smaller sensor and uh, that one is about 16 megapixels this is an 18 megapixel camera right here and uh, obviously it's a DSLR so you got that big mirror and um, I, I just feel like you know this is still worth buying uh, in this time even the T2i I was actually thinking about buying the T2i originally before finding the T3i but they didn't have enough T2i's available that were like in a better condition and the T3i was the other one. Oh, forgot the other reason too why I bought this is the uh, flip out screen. Uh, the T2i actually never had a flip out screen, so it'd be pretty much like filming with my A6300. So this is also definitely useful. So when I'm vlogging, I can actually see myself 
um but yeah super excited to make a video on that for you guys all right we are officially gonna end the video here guys if you enjoyed it please give me a big fat thumbs up if you're not following me on instagram what are you guys doing please follow me on instagram it is at cory.saldana if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel yet here please smash the subscribe button and press that post notification bell so you guys are alerted when i upload a new video and i will see you guys on the next video peace I used to be so happy, but without you here, I feel so low. I want you as you left, but I can never seem to let you go. Cause once upon a time, you were my everything. It's clear to see the time hasn't changed a thing. It's buried deep inside me, but I feel there's something you should know. Yeah.